Hi, this is Matt, and in this video, you will find out how you can create a great video proposal for Upwork or any other, uh, you know, freelancing service or website. So why would you do that in the first place? So you would do that because there are so many guys who is sending just like a text message proposals, just like a text, like a copy, like email, like upper proposal. But you know, videos have way higher conversion because they are very unique. So you know, you build bigger, you, you build stronger report with your potential customer, you show yourself, you put yourself out there and you are unique. So there is three big reasons why video proposals are actually way better. So make sure you try this technique and help to do that. So well, when you're creating your video proposal, you do not want to create single video proposal for you know any other person. So it would take too much time to record a new video every single time. You also want to make it personalized on the other hand. So what you need to do is you need to create it quite personalized, but so that you can send it to pretty much anyone. So you want to talk about their project, about their business, about their company, kind of, or about what you do, but so that anyone could relate to this. So that's the first important thing. The second important thing is that you want to talk about your business and about them and about what you're going to do for about 40% of the video time and then for the rest, for around 60% of the video time, you want to focus on what's the most important. The most important thing that you want to focus on, you know, 60% of the video time is call to action. And the only reason you are making this video is so that you can implement your call to action and is to trigger them to contact you. That's the reason to create this video. So you want to transfer those leads from watching your video to contacting you. So how does it work? In the end of a video, you give them a fake choice of how they're going to contact you. So you give them a choice to contact you either via phone or via Skype or via scheduling tool like schedule once, for example. Okay. So you just let them do that. And I am recommending you to put the phone number above the YouTube video and your Skype above the YouTube video. So it looks like a title, right? So that they can find it. So what you can say in the videos, if you want to contact me instantly, just call the number above or Skype me above. Or if you contact right now, make sure to book a time with me. There is my agenda below. You can just click it and book a time when you are available. And why do you want to give them three choices? First reason for this is because you want to make it comfortable for them. So if they want to talk right now, let them talk right now. There is people who just want to grab their phone and call you, especially older people. They just want to use phone. If they are out of United States, they might be willing to use Skype because it's going to be too expensive for them to call you. So let them use it as well. If they contact right now because they are just like in their corporation and they're working there and then they're starting business on the side and they were just like checking your message, they're going to book a call. So let them, you know, do, you know, do logistics accordingly to them, to the client. So that's the first reason. And then the second reason is because you want to give them a fake choice. So instead of giving them a choice, whether they're going to contact you or not, you want to give them a psychological choice of which way they are going to contact you, which is going to improve your conversion rate as well. The other important thing is that you want to upload this video on YouTube. You do not want to upload this on Dropbox or somewhere else because people are used to YouTube as a to as to fun place where they watch some funny videos and stuff like this. So they will have, you know, positive association with your video as fast as they see that. So that's also very good. And now the most important thing is that you don't necessarily need to try to create this video seem awesome, like 4K quality, awesome sound, you outside, uh, maybe you on the roof of a building. You don't need that because it's not going to look personalized. It's going to look fake. It's going to look like advertisement, like commercial. You don't want that. You want to be authentic. And this is what sells right now. And authenticity is how small players and freelancers and small business owners are winning against corporations right now. So you want to be super authentic and being super authentic is just you in front of regular camera, in front of your computer, just talking to them as a human being. So this really works. This is your advantage. You can't compete with corporations with quality. They always going to have more money. They're going to be better with you. So you can only compete with being authentic. So do that for sure. And, um, 
the last uh, very important thing is that you need to keep traction of your video. So once you create your video proposal in which you are talking to your client, then uh, make sure that you write down amount of proposals that you send with this video and amount of conversions. And with conversions, I mean amount of people who is contacting you after seeing this video. And you know, the reason why I'm doing this is because I get a lot of sales and I had first, first video and then the second month I didn't get any sales and I just changed the video and I didn't even realize what happened in my funnel, why didn't I get a sale. But it turned out that the reason I didn't get a sale is because I just, you know, didn't have like a, uh, I just changed the video. And funny enough, the video that I changed it to was way better. Okay, so I didn't know why I'm not getting sales, but it turned out that this video just doesn't work. And the first video worked. So what I did in the third month is I've used the video from the first month and it worked perfectly again. So what I'm saying is that make sure you know your numbers, you know how many conversions you get per amount of proposals sent so that you can track which video is better and you don't need to judge by yourself like, mm, is this better or is that better? But just see by numbers, just make sure you have attraction of numbers and so that you can just tell them, uh, so you can just see by numbers which one is better. How does it work funnel-wise? So how does the funnel of a video implementation works? Implementation works. So you send your upper proposal or a freelancer proposal or like email to a potential client and you just link them to a video. So all you write in the proposal is to get them to click on the link. Like you don't want to write too much. Just click on the link. Here is the video proposal I made for you. It's personalized, whatever. They click on this, they get to YouTube. They are not coming back to email or to Upwork or anywhere else because this wouldn't be a proper funnel. Funnel always goes towards one direction. So as soon as they are there, they're going to go to funnel of calling you or scheduling a meeting with you or Skyping you. That's it. Like that's, that's, that's the structure. How does it work with copy? Like what do you say? So that's, that's, you know, it doesn't really matter so much. What you do is you tell them something like this, like, hi, this is Matt. I want to work uh, on your project. I'm sending you this personalized proposal uh, because I've seen this. Uh, I've seen you're looking for someone, and what I do is I do uh, website development for uh, restaurants in Northern Europe, for example. Or what I do is um, websites for forums in Ohio, whatever. So you're just very specific about what you do, then you can say, I've worked with around 150 clients, I help them, and what I wanna offer you, and here's a free value for them, by the way, what I wanna offer you is a free consultation. You don't need to work with me, we're just gonna see whether we are right fit to work with each other. So just take advantage of this free consultation, just call me, book a meeting with me, or use Skype. I'm just gonna talk with you, I'm gonna give you a few great suggestions how to approach this project. And the reason for this is because I've worked with so many clients like you, around 150 clients this year, so that I wanna give you uh, some value. And then you can decide, like we can work together, maybe not, but I'm gonna give you some value. So make sure you give them value for their time uh, calling you as well. And that's the structure, that's it. Try a couple of videos, calculate your traction, and if you have questions, you can just uh, you can just ask in comments below, and I'm just gonna comment how good is your proposal and what else can you do with this. And uh, also make sure to subscribe, click subscribe button now, please, so that you can support the channel and so that um, you know you can get free business and marketing advice every single day. Thank you for watching this video.